Hi, welcome back to Falcon's House. Here is my review of the Shane A14 bookshelf speakers. They have about 150 hours of use now and should be broken in. Since these are my first pair of real speakers and I don't have something to compare them against, I am not going to have a rating scale. This video is going to show some test tones and some copyright free music. I hope to post some other videos with other songs that I'll worry less about their copyright claims. Similar to how Zeos does his Z Review series. Okay, let's, first of all, let's take a look at some pictures of the Shane A1.4. And for some features of it, it has a 1.25 inch by 2.25 inch flat panel leaf tweeter, which provides very high frequency extension. And from what you can see with the specifications, it can go all the way up to 31.5 kilohertz, which is a pretty fairly high, high end, probably higher than you'll realistically have music or movies go. Most vocals and things are lower than that. For the low end of the frequency response, it goes down to about 50 hertz, which provides a good amount of bass, but without a subwoofer, you're going to be missing the very deep lows in movies and music, so you're still going to need to have a subwoofer in your setup. From a physical standpoint, they are 13 by 4 by 7.1 by 9.85 inches, which is pretty big for a desktop setup. Um, you could probably get away if you had a very big desk, but most likely you're going to be putting these into a home theater and you're going to want them on stands. And I use the Monoprice stands and they fit perfectly on there. There's a, just a little bit of stand below them. They fit really nicely. Here's some royalty-free music. Um, the... Here's some royalty-free music that I'm going to use to test. Currently it is set at minus 30 decibels from reference. Or maybe pineapple and marshmallow. Mm. Peavy banana. Or instead, something to do with coconut and mango. Too much my Oreo creation.
subwoofer was off during the audio clips. My conclusion after listening to these speakers for a while is that they are very good. They handle all of the content that I have been able to give it. I would recommend them, especially since they could easily become surround speakers if you upgrade to bigger front speakers later. And here is going to be an audio sweep test. I'm going to leave this at the end of the video so that people that don't want to listen to it don't have to.